Another day, another Elden. I'm doing Elden Ring almost as much as I'm doing my Wordle. Actually, more. This has become the new Wordle. Welcome. I was just looking up um, daggers because having a dagger that builds rot is cool, but I also want to infuse one with poison. And so here I am back at Limgrave for a bit. On my way to potentially grab a, uh, a dagger that has bleed. And can also be infused with poison. So it just sounds like a good sounds like a good time. Apparently there's someone sleeping on a bridge. You know, even though I'm using weapons that are already really great, I don't need this. But I think it'll be fun. It, it's apparently there's an enemy on the bridge sleeping on the way to Weeping Peninsula. This is the bridge. Wow. Wow. I love that I can just tank these hits. You know, speaking of Wordle, I was listening to an interview with Tom York and Johnny Greenwood of Radiohead. They're on the uh, Will Arnett podcast now, the Smartless thing, and it was, it was good. I enjoyed listening to it. I learned some stuff. And Johnny Greenwood said that he, he likes doing Wordle, and I was like, good lad, good lad. I wonder if he got movie instead of Moxie. Are you sleeping? No, you're dead. Are you sleeping? No, you're dead. She's dead. Right, remember that. So wait a second, where the fuck is this guard? It's called the Bloodstained Dagger. Right? And it says here... Dropped by a demi-human chief, sleeping on the wooden bridge leading to the minor... Uh, Erd tri oh. Well, I'm a dumbass. There's a wooden bridge leading to the minor er, er, eared, eared tree. Poor Blathe. This looks like a wooden bridge to me. So it's a drop. Alright. Five times. I'll get it within five times. I'm going to... kill this sleeping demi-human in a variety of interesting and fun ways. I'll show you. The first way was... magic. The second way will be... Floor is lava.
Third way will be knife. Na hey, knife to meet you. So memorize spell. Apparently there's a spell that I got. Which one is it? It's, um... Crystal Torrent. Man, apparently this was buffed and it's pretty awesome. But it's pretty far outside of my range at this point. So I'm not going to be able to use that. It looks cool, too. That was an accident. Blowstone. I thought I had the two knives equipped. Again, there's literally no reason for me to get this. I could be using any of my other weapons. I just thought a dual upgraded dagger, one with poison, one with rot, would be cool. Enjoy the rot. I'm going to use the item. Now this will stay active as long as I don't teleport back to a site of grace. That's my understanding of it. As long as I don't teleport back, we're, we're good. Some good rot buildup happening there. It's almost like the corpse kind of knew how to die, but didn't. I don't know what number of times that was, but um, at this point it doesn't matter. I'm just going to keep trying. I want to get this dagger. I should have done this without recording it. Just keep roaring, pal. Is it time for me to complain about taxes? Because... It's tax season. It's time to pay your motherfucked taxes. Where does it go? Nobody knows. <laughs> and I get hit fucking hard with taxes as a New York resident and self-employed. Oof. If I knew it was going towards something... Like, nice... You know, that would be cool, but it would be great if we could get, like, a breakdown. But it's probably just going to pay a senator. So that's my favorite part. Here's as political as I, I'll get, because I just don't know what I'm talking about. You want to get your politics from a video game Twitch YouTuber? <laughs> you really don't. I have no idea what I'm talking about. But here's as political as I'll get. I love the idea that my taxes are probably going to go to pay a senator so they can do some fun insider trading. That's fun, isn't it? That really makes you <clears throat> feel good <clears throat> to pay 30-something percent. I'm fortunate enough that I can, you know, I can get by. It's just a matter of... The, the fucking... 
I don't know where the money goes. If I knew it was helping people, like if I knew that it was going towards people who needed it, or like, you know, important causes or, or important infrastructure, that's fine. But it's probably going to build a couple more missiles and, you know, again, pay for some nice insider trading. That's literally as political as I'll get, and without even getting too far. I, if that pisses anyone off, so be it. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a law-abiding citizen, and I'm not going to, uh, Walter write, uh, Walter write my taxes. It's just, for fuck's sake. And it's more of a hassle to just, like, get them done anyway. Like, I don't mind when it's over, because I just don't think about it anymore, but... Just a tremendous pain in the fucking ass. Yeah, dude, drop glass shard. Alright, you can open your ears now. No more, um, no more of that discussion. Because even though I'm complaining, the fact is, I am extremely fortunate. And there are people who have it way worse than I do. And I kinda don't... I mean, I think that doesn't eliminate people's problems by saying that. Like, oh, people have it worse, so therefore problems are gone. But in this case, I count my blessings and I just say to myself, you know what, I'm, I'm doing okay, and I can pay my bills, and I can buy my video games. I'm very happy. But yeah, it is a little bit of a nightmare. Tax season, not a fan. It's just odd at a time. I gotta sneeze! Ooh! You can drop the knife. I know you want to drop the knife. I'm at the point now where when this item runs out, I have to double check on the map. To see if this is even the right spot. It has to be. It fucking, it has to be. Right? Checking right now. Yep, that's ex this is exactly the the spot. I am correct. Damn. Listen, I'll make it a point to use this thing if I get it. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Do I just pause and come back? Is Because this can't be entertaining for people. There's no way. I mean, I know people use this as background noise. People have said that they, they leave this on, they go to sleep, and they absorb it by osmosis. Like, how does Osmosis Jones even enter your bloodstream? Come on, man. I, I'll be back with the dagger. Could this be it? No. <laughs> took long enough. I'll let you figure out how long it took. You could probably do some, uh, rune... ...math. If you really <laughs> wanted to. But, uh, yeah, I'm not- I'm- I- that was a waste of time. Yes, it was. 
But, well, you know, I've got it, and now I can try my uh, dagger build. I'm probably not particularly specced for a dagger build. And I'm gonna waste some smithing stones now, so here we go. You look like you were dead. Well, I took you for dead. No matter, lay out your arm. Mmm, I don't have a poison ash of war. I'm gonna have to fix that. I'm gonna save. Stone, I'm not gonna fuck with that just yet. But, bloodstained dagger causes blood loss buildup. What do I need? Oh, smithing stones. Yes. If I keep pressing the button, maybe it will work. I read about the sell-in quest line, and then I forgot how to do it. So happy they lowered the price of these things. So much more reasonable now. Yeah, I'm gonna look up the selling quest line because I'm kind of curious to see how to continue that, but I don't really have much of a... I, I don't have much hope that I'll be able to actually use any of the stuff. I guess for me, a lot of the fun of Elden Ring is trying different weapons and different, like, builds. Back already, no matter. Granted, I haven't tried builds that are that much different, but... And we've hit the wall. I need Smithing Stone 3. There's another... Bell Bearing... somewhere. Hmm. I'm gonna head to the Bell End Church, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna look up Poison Ashes of War. Poison Ashes of War. <laughs> Quite literally. Poisonous Mist. Probably not here, but there is something I missed here. I wanna get it. Aeonia, Swamp, and Kaelid. Let me double check. I might have that. I need a, a Ash of War for a weapon. For a, uh, a, a knife. That is not a knife. You think that is a knife. That is not a knife. Damn, I was really hoping that would work. Was that the one I missed? There's one I missed over here that I'd like to get. That may or may... 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 Main... May not... May... It may or may not be something that actually gives me an item of any kind. Never mind. Okay, let's see. 
have poison mist. Poison armament. Chance right hand weapon with poison. You need faith 10 for it. Ugh. What's incantation? Oh, I don't have the uh, Ash of War. I don't have the poison one. Those are incantations. Make it so. Gotta look for a big ball of some kind. Favorite ACDC song. Big balls, big balls. Look at them balls hitting the walls. I like to go insane. I turn my scrot into a brain. Look at its many veins. They are- they're just genius songwriters, really. Clean Rot Helm. Okay. Randomly stumble upon new armor. That's always exciting. This might be it. Yeah. There's also some stuff up here I didn't really do. At least I'm not 100% sure if I did everything up here. Let's double check. There was an annoying piece of crap dragon that I had to fight. Oh yeah, I can do more of this. Let's see. Stone barb. Can boost holy attacks. Boost resistance and heal status and mixed physic. Heals status. It boosts intelligence, dexterity, stamina recovery. Restores half total FP. Steadily restores HP. Temporarily boosts max HP. That's new. I don't like what I have for the time being. So it's bloody and poisony. Poisony. I'm just gonna go full poison. It's time for rot and poison. Enjoy. I need to find that last bell bearing though, so I can buy more smithing stones. Yeah, I didn't spend much time up here. So yes, it, um, 
Causes bleed, poison, and rot. So if you just keep attacking, eventually the enemy will have three status effects. Well, bleed's a little different, but it's still pretty... Pretty cool. I haven't used a dagger since Reduvia, which was fun. Even though, you know, very short range. I mean, there's usually something to do here. Like an underground area, there's usually stairs. Someone died here? Someone in the group? Alright, which one of you died to a little crust lord? It's probably gonna be me in a minute. New name for them? Aristocrusts. Hidden path ahead. Ah, very helpful messages. I knew something would be up here. That is phenomenal messages. Very, very pleased. Hell yeah. Not dung. Good item. shit. Fuck. Oh boy. Can I do this with daggers? <laughs> Two of them? What do you mean two of them? What do you mean two of them? These are two healthy dragons. Alright, dagger experiment has ended. You know what? You can stay down there. I'll take care of the- oh god. <laughs> this whole area is just a nightmare for dragons.
camera does not like dragons. There's another one. Oh, there's, there can't be three dragons. There can't be three of them. No. <laughs> no, Mario, please. Oh, I am Mario. Wait. Are these dragons just set, just set dressing? Like, like, this is foolish. This is foolish. Just want to drop down there somehow. for shortcut. Uh, no, that's bad. There's no shortcut there. See some stuff down there, but I don't know how to get down there without dying. Also, I'm not bothering with these dragons. One, I would fight. Sure. Three? No. Or, or two and one teleported back up. Either way, fuck that. Unless they have good item. Please leave a comment if you know if the dragons have good item. Why did I kill that turtle? Ringleaders ever jail. Monstrosity ahead. Is this dagger build not going to work out for me? I mean, I'll try again, but, uh, jeez. This lad may be made of crystal. Which explains a lot. Yeah. Listen, I'm trying. I really wanted to make the knife thing work. But... No more Mr. Knife Guy.
At least for now. This weapon, you, this stamina management is, like, really weird. Meaning, you're just always out of stamina. All the good attacks take a lot of stam. Wow. <laughs> wow! You just, you just did that, huh? Got it. Right. 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 I keep getting email requests for Raid Shadow Legends. It keeps happening. It doesn't stop. It just keeps happening. I feel like the knives had not enough range for this fight. And this sword is too slow for this fight. There we go. You know, I'm still not doing a whole lot of damage. Even if Crystal... Still not... Still very powerful. Oh, no, 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 no. Wow. Hey, fuck you. Hey, fuck you. <clears throat> Damn it. Keep trying to do moves and I'm like, wait, why doesn't it work? Oh, stamina. Oh, you, you can't do that. That's, that's, you have too much range. Oh, boy.
Hm. Hey, take the take the potion, eat the damage, no problem. Oh yeah, you can't do that. Yeah. I try a different weapon. raises immunity. No, we don't want that. We want jump attack. Enhance. Oh, yeah. No, this is it. This is the one. And I'm not even using bloody slash. I just want the blood. I want to see if the blood works. from that. Oh, god damn it. Oh, no. I'm level 99. <laughs> I mean, this is optional. Clearly. How do I kill Electro? The fuck am I gonna do this? I mean, the the best weapon I had for it. Well, I can think of one other weapon that could be good that also staggers opponents. It's only a Moonveil plus six, though. At this point, I've out leveled this particular weapon.
I'd like a weapon with parry. But I basically have not upgraded any of my shields that have parry. Maybe no skill would be better, so I can continue using my, uh, cheap shit. This is it. This is the shield. Did I choose a shield that fucking sucks? Hmm. Very possible. Cheesy. You know what else is cheesy? Missing the fucking crit. Yeah, totally out of stamina. I don't know if this shield is... I, I don't know, maybe it's just most shields are like this, but... That sucked. Too much, not enough stamina to, to do a, a block. that, you get fucked. You get caught in that, you get fucked. And it's a cycle. It's a cycle of failure from there on out.
Hmm. I got this. I just can't do a lot of damage to this person. It's just not happening. Hmm. Apparently, I do have something that can help. I try it. Hear me out here. I got this now. There's not much in regards to weaknesses, but this could help. not helping. <laughs> uh, I was- I was told that that was supposed to help. <sighs> Aryan Phalanx is supposed to lower the poise. I have barely even played this game today and all I've done is grind and fail. death. That is death. You can- that- that- yeah. I don't know about breaking poise with the- the carrion phalanx. That's not working so great.
glint blade phalanx is one that apparently helps, but I don't know if I have that. No, I just have carrion phalanx. <sighs> Three more tries. Three more tries. And then I got this. that again. No. Don't need to do that again. Yeah, but the, did you did you really want to do that? Does that really break the poise though? Cuz it doesn't really look like it does. I'm just gonna spam it. I'm just gonna spam it and see what happens. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Cool spell. That is a cool spell. Oh, it just overwrites the old one.
you know, I tried, and it looks like maybe I'm not using the right spell, even though that is also a spell that is listed. And uh, that that's bullshit. So I'm I'm gonna pass on using that cool thing. Yeah, stab me while I. This sword is too fucking slow. I oh Jesus no. Oh God Jesus. <laughs> Oh, God, Jesus. What am I doing here? Because I'm a creep. All right. I'm just going back to the old strat. That's it. Old strat it is. And I, I will defeat now. No more bullshit shortcut spells that don't work. That was two to stagger. Two. Oh no, 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 no. Friend. Friend. Oh, it's cheesy, all right. Oh, it's cheesy. And it was just an ash of war. Great. Well, I got a bunch of runes for it, at least. And satisfaction. Yes. Definitely the satisfaction. Can't get me no satisfaction. It's a trap, 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 trap. Level one hundred. Yeah, this was the wrong place to try to test out my new dagger build.
I'm gonna try to fight one dragon without angering the other, but the other one got angry, so. Just not gonna bother. Drop a comment if you think it's worth it to kill those dragons. Stop doing that now. I am Angari. I'm also going to look up the next smithing stone uh, bell bearing location. It's a couple quests that I know I can do, I just don't know who or where. And it gets very confusing because I can't keep track of them. I love how you can summon your mimic here, but not not for the dragons or them. What you suck? You need mimic? Oh Oh first you love jellyfish, then you need mimic. Oh look at this hypocrite. Wow, you like this one, then you don't like this one. Jellyfish best now jellyfish shit. No, 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 no. You just dance the fuck on out of here real quick. Thank you. But why does it shoot above? Please don't shoot above.
you just fucking stop that? Can you fucking stop that? <laughs> you know what? I'll be right back. <laughs> I need to pause for a minute. <laughs> Get something to drink. I can't believe the hardest enemy in this game are just two regular crystal enemies. When I finish this game, I will come back up here and I'm going to pulp those dragons. You have my word. And my bow! Oh, sorry. And my bow. And my axe! It works. And boy, does it feel good. Only thirty one. Night Maiden's Mist is like crystal killers. Just gotta keep kiting them into it. And they love it. And then they just explode. We got more? Sorry, tiny tree is in the way. Giant sword versus tiny tree. Tiny tree wins. Maybe it's the dragons up top. Yeah, they might have just heard what was going on down here. Smithing stone. I 
Smithing Stone 8. Smithing Stone 7. Not, in fact, Dragon. Man, fuck this area. I'm leaving. Is there other stuff too? There is, there's other stuff here. Seems like there's plenty of other stuff. There's a whole other road. wrong way. I heard the sound of dung. Don't know if dung. I'm not gonna fight that thing down there. I don't I don't think I really have the patience for that, especially considering the uh, sight of grace is so far away. Gonna think about that. Today's play session is brought to you by frustration and stupidity. <laughs> uh, but I know there are going to be people that watch that get frustrated. Let, re let me remind you, I'm only screwing myself over. Your playthrough is intact. May as well screw myself over some more. Become mushroom entirely. Why not? Kill it. Who gets the runes? One of the, the top three worst enemies in this game is what we just saw there.
Oh, you're poisoning me now. Last time I played this, bosses were easy. <laughs> I was steamrolling. Oh, that's of course only because I overleveled. Cerulean Amber Medallion plus two. Look at my mushroom, man. I hate him. It is, uh, vastly raises maximum FP. This whole place is littered with ruins, so there's, there's got to be some interesting stuff here. As if that wasn't interesting already. State ruins. Oh, come on. No. Uh, Snoop Dogg is in Call of Duty now, by the way. I know because Call of Duty himself sent me an email telling me. Not even kidding, by the way. That's real. That is real.
So that one person who was on the fence about Call of Duty but loved Snoop... They're in now. That's nice. Worst fucking enemy. Maybe worst. Right up there with the, the hands and those centipedes. anything here like anything worth digging around for You're dissipating. Something big and stupid is going to land in front of me or appear or materialize or come up from the ground and it's going to kill me in one hit. Isn't it? Or maybe not. Seek up, undead ahead, bow required ahead. Didn't see anything undead. I mean, there very well could be something there. Look at me, I'm a fucking mushroom. been there before. Bully of turtles. Turtle Pope is going to come after me. By the way, you can kill Turtle Pope and he just like forgives you. 
Like, he's like, if you stop now, I won't be angry. I, be I read about this. I haven't actually done it, because I, I wouldn't dare harm Turtle Pope. But he understands. I just feel bad for Turtle Pope now, because there's- how many people have killed Turtle Pope around the world, you think? At this point. Many. And he just is chill. He's like, alright, well, guess I gotta die now. Seek the three great wise beasts. I'm gonna solve the puzzle to enter. Is Turt Popeman also a wise beast? We don't need to go that way. Lord Radic a famed sculptor when he glimpsed this and as such it We already did that. Glintstone Comet Shard. I'm gonna buy it. the map. Looking up the smithing, um, smith stones, uh, bell bearings. Smithing Miners Bell Bearing 2. Lane Dell, the Royal Capital. Small dungeon to the southwest of it. It's in something called the Sealed Tunnel. Do it now. Pretty much right there. May as well. We are getting close to that tree. I think about all the wasted runes. Last time I wasted, there was like an 80,000 waste. That would be a lot of brain cells to waste if, this, if runes were brain cells.
Golden Order Seal? Bug. fuck is it? I haven't seen you in a while. Words of Queen Marika, who vanished long ago. If you wish, I will share them with you. In Marika's own words, I declare mine intent to search the depths of the Golden Order through understanding of the proper way. Our faith, our grace is increased. Those blissful early days of blind belief are long past. My comrades, why must ye falter? Thanks. I know what it is. It is... This. It's a faith thing. Boosts fundamentalist incantations. So that's not something I'm going to use anytime soon unless I respec into faith. Yeah, almost fall off. So I can take one up. Hey, now that's actually a really great way to kill those things. These things are, uh, you can kill them with poison. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you just overload them with poison and this is what happens. They explode. So they are poisonous, but they can be killed with poison by giving them more to the point where they just don't know what to do with it and die.
then it affects all the surrounding ones, and they do a nice synchronized explosion for your enter entertainment. Regrettable mushroom outfit. There's gotta be better armor that I've missed. That should be my next thing, is to find something that's not complete garbage. Oh, it's gonna be one of these places. Good. So that's the new spell I just bought. Again, FP so low I can barely use this shit. There it is. Attacking, oh, attacking. Try attacking, oh, try attacking. Therefore, try attacking. Try attacking. That's Elden language for... Hit the wall! But 50 times you must hit this wall. <sighs> Why would I do that? Thought what may potentially be something under the lift. Oh, death. All right. May as well give up. One of you. Oh no, no, this no bay.
Don't take me to Volcano Manor. So I found out there's a rotten crystal sword. I like the sound of that. I want to use... I want to be a crystal weirdo. Maybe there's some kind of crystal armor I can get, too. Use a rotten crystal sword, a crystal sword, and wear crystal armor. And shoot crystals. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. We're doing this. You bet. Good man. <sighs> okay. Elden Ring statues with light cracks. I know what to do now. I probably knew that already at some point.
Nice. They've been waiting all that time. Centuries. Millennia. Just explode like that. to sleep. Onyx Lord's Great Sword. Well, this is a whole other thing. was not expecting beautiful view. It's very smart to have the, um, the place that you eventually have to go be visible from the very first moment you set foot outside the starting area. I'm looking at you, Breath of the Wild, and also the Zen area, the big tower in um, in Zen in Half-Life Black Mesa, which they did deliberately to just kind of show the player, like, yep, this is where you eventually need to go. As Zen was fairly aimless previously. Where are we going? All oh, right. Ooh. Where, where are we going, Trivio? Seventy or so hours in, whatever it is, sixty-eight hours in, and I still don't know how to navigate this fucking place. Is Roger still here? Damn. Well, Any anyone gonna go check on Roger? Anyone? No? Takes all of my smithing stones. I don't know about that. I think it's a pretty decent amount of upgrades for now. So, what did I get? I got, um.
Royal Great Sword. I got uh, Trolls. No. Um, Banished Knights? No, what the fuck did I get? I got a sword of some kind. Onyx Lords. The Curved Great Sword. Oh, it's the Bloodhound Fang, but... Mm. Okay. <sighs> Crystal Armor, Elden Ring. I'm gonna pause while I look this up, hang on. Oh, I've discovered many things. So apparently I stopped recording, and I don't even know why. Hmm. Discovered many things. I discovered many things, and then the fucking... I played without recording for like five minutes. I have to do... Essentially, there's some cool armor. Sorceress Selen has a quest line that I need to do, and I've already done a lot of the legwork. So I'm in this hermit village. You didn't really miss too much. I just killed a bunch of monkeys, and that's it. And I'm trying out my knives. That's about it. Don't know what I did to stop recording, though. That's a little weird. Troubling, even. Sure, sure are daggers not hitting my enemy. Mimic Tear was pulling some moves, though. I mean, I just let this become a clusterfuck. Stop. Ah! Dog! Oh, I forgot to pick up my runes. 
More runes wasted, more runes wasted. 20,000 runes. I can't hit this enemy with my knives. And it's extremely frustrating. And once you lose that many runes, I mean, my own fault entirely, but once you lose that many, it's like, yeah, you can, you can just fuck off. They're here defending the shitlord, but they are dying. They are going down, the Burger Kings. Oh, there's an oh memory stone. Good. You. This is the armor I was looking at. Comet, is there... Are you dead? Didn't expect Pickle. Well, at least I found the thing. I mean, it's sorceress stuff, are. but shall we commence the lesson? Fine. It's this sorcery, my apprentice. Ah, then you have seen Master Azure. Master Azure was a founding Glimstone sorcerer, and my first teacher, a stern judge of men. But he must have seen something in you. You make us both proud. We can speak more later, my apprentice. If you recall, I was exiled from the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. It was for attempting to restore the primeval current of Glimstone sorcery. The toothless pedantry peddled by the Carian royal family can rot for all I care. I want Glimstone sorceries that open our minds, unbound by terrestrial taboos. No matter what we give in return. My apprentice, I presume nothing. Teacher and student are not bound to tread the same path. But hear me out, my apprentice. I need your help to restore the primeval current of Glimstone sorcery. Perhaps this is a journey we could take together. Splendid. I thank you. This pleases me. 
It's been far too long since I found a fellow kindred spirit. You must have a fabulous teacher. I need your help, my apprentice. Master Lusat is another founding glimstone sorcerer. And like Master Azure, he was banished from the Academy. Now he languishes in prison somewhere. My apprentice, can you find Master Lusat? Okay. With this glimstone key, you should be able to cross the boundary that encloses him. I need him to receive nigh a It's like, where is he? Doesn't matter, just go find him. It's a now. small world. I've taken um, my my headphones. My headphones are off for a second, so if I sound a little different, that's why uh, my ear is not enjoying the headphones. So this is Comet Azure. Oh, 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 intelligence 60. Well, I'm going to do the quest because it, it actually does have some good armor and rewards. Since doing better. I hoped to see you again. My apologies for when last we met. I fainted before I could even thank you. Everything is as you said. Since inserting the needle, the scarlet rot has ceased to writhe. Even the nightmares have abated. And now, though I can scarcely believe it myself, I can move as I please. Not that I could ever truly repay you, but I would like you to have this, by way of thanks. A token though it is. I'm considering leaving on a journey with the needle buried in my flesh. I've started to recall, but dimly, my destiny. It's all thanks to you. My name is Millicent. I pray fate permits us meet again. Okay. I'm considered the needle my destiny. A lot of destiny in this game. It's a fantasy game. What the hell am I expecting? Raises dex. Dextiny. This guy say dextiny he fun. Sometimes you gotta make yourself laugh. I can play for another 40 minutes or so, and then I have to get going. So hopefully enough time to do a good chunk of Selen's quest. So there's this area. I wonder if I can equip this knife with an Ash of War that has rot. I mean, that's a definite. That way I can, like, double rot. I just don't think I have a rot Ash of War. Anyway, we're back here. Yeah. 
Yeah, lock on. Yeah, lock on. Yeah. Lost Ashes of War. I think that's for duplication purposes. Okay, so there is... I was here last time, and there's a magic barrier that I need to find. Sadness ahead, but praise the stars. Stars of ruin. You're not dead yet, are you? <sighs> Jesus, I just wanted to tab back in. Stars of Rune. Ruin? Ruins? Ruin. My apprentice, I have a favor to ask. The form you see before you is merely a projection. My body lies elsewhere. But the Academy shackles prevent it being moved. My body is on the Weeping Peninsula at the southern tip of the Lands Between. Imprisoned in the ruins just down from the Church of Marika, past the plain of the Wandering Mausoleum. Can you make the journey to my body? I have something that I can only trust with you. Who could have guessed? What a place to find Master Lusat. You have my gratitude. This is all your work. I am truly pleased to have you as an apprentice. And a kindred spirit. This is a mere token of my thanks. Please, take it. This brings us a full step closer. The bodies of Masters, Azure and Lusat can be admitted to the Academy. If only I could undo these wretched shackles. Sure. I got this. Southern tip. With the witch bane runes. Oh. I got a new spell. Probably can't use it. Stars of Ruin. There's 12 dark shooting stars that pursue foes. Yeah. So she's in the Witchbane Ruins. Oh. There is literally a spot I've not been to at all. Huh. Just when you thought you've seen everything.
Yeah, I think instead of poison Ash of War, I think I want to go rot. Which again, probably do not have, but... Rot Ash of War. Let's see. There is a dagger with Scarlet Rot. It doesn't appear that there is actually Scarlet Rot Ash of War. There's weapons. Hmm. Okay, never mind. Weapons. But no Ash of War in particular. Ended abruptly. General Kenobi. you can only do this after you defeat Radon. My apprentice, thank you for coming. These shackles take a toll on us all. There is something I need you to look after. My primal glimstone. A star has fallen and my fortunes waver. Someone may come for my life, and so I entrust it with you, myself. Good thing I'm not dressed like a mushroom for this. Damn, dude. her very being. Next is, again, never would have known any of this, but Red Main Castle. I have to find the throne room. Well, Radon has been pulped, so there's really not much left of the ceremony here, as far as I would imagine.
Where the fuck is the throne room? A single rotting dog. This is the entrance. One of. walked in a big circle now, so clearly I'm on the right track. Maybe this is the throne room, I don't know. Oh yeah, I guess that is the... the I thought that was the church, though. Some of these people are still here. PC. Okay. At last, the war festival has ended. Brave champion, you have our gratitude. The celebration was spectacular. General Radan is surely pleased. He's dead, isn't he? Festering with rot and crippled by madness. Oh. All he wanted was an honorable death. Finally. My work is done. I'm no longer bound to this fortress. I have a task in mind. Old business, you could say. You wouldn't understand. May we meet again, if the fates deign it. Brave champion. It's time I went to- May we meet again, if the fates deign it. Brave champion. Okay. Journey to the Three Sisters. Right? To some ruins between Ronnie's Rise and Rena's Rise. And you will... Oh, I see the, the ruins have an illusory floor. Yeah. Ancient tomes with knowledge. Custom knowledge of the ancients. Broken. Destroyed. Should be floor here. I'm assuming there will be a note in front of it from helpful Samaritans. I mean, maybe not.
Some ruins between Ronnie's Rise and Rena's Rise. Oh, there it is. Is it il illusory or illusory? Illusory sounds more proper. There's some fucking dead people in here. You again. So wait, she's in like three places at the same time? Which one's her real body? I don't get it. I was worried I fucked something up and could, like, no longer ever do the quest again. Which, let's be honest, is a pretty Elden Ring thing to do. Mental. I think it's confirmed that there are, in fact, a number of quests that you can, like, never do again. There's so much content in this game, you have to play it four times. At least. Preferably seven. I'm making that number up, but who knows. to see the champion of the festival here, of all places. You didn't know Selen, did you? Well, whatever the case, she's dead now. Just put it behind you. She was known as the Graven Witch. Obsessed by the primeval current, countless sorcerers fell to her hand. The most dangerous mage in the entire history. <laughs> what are you fucking doing? <laughs> Story in Elden Ring. Ah, well, man. I hardly you didn't. Well, just put it. He was known. Trying to pay attention to the story, and then that happens. The primeval current. Come on! Ah, well, oh, well, man. <laughs> Expected to see you. you didn't. Well, just put it behind. She was known as the grave, obsessed by the primeval current, the most dangerous mage. 
It is strange, though. The woman. He was that close to finishing. Her soul already fled. I suspect Selen lives on elsewhere. I'm sure she'll turn up eventually. In another body. A sickening thought. But one that won't stop gnawing at me. I suspect Selen lives on elsewhere. I'm sure. That was kind of amazing. I can already see an edit of that without my voice, and it's just like story and Elden Ring, and then just a very quick cut, and it ends just as I get hit by the marionette soldier. Selavis's Celibus, puppet. Do, do not touch. My apprentice. Staff going through hand. Just how okay. long has it been? Thank you. You've helped me fill a new body once again. And it's truly a gem. Young and full of vigor, a snug fit for my primal glimstone. Better still, I've shed those awful shadows. Whose shackles. body is this? Finally, I can return to the Academy to expel the Karian royal family and restore the primeval current. My dear apprentice, I owe this all to you. But Finally, I can return to the Academy to expel the Karian royal family and restore the primeval current. My apprentice, Shall as thanks for procuring this new form, I'll be holding you to a higher standard. Why aren't your prices cheaper? You wish to resume the last. Well, now I have an option. I know what option I'm taking. Okay, so it says here, go to the uh, Rhea Lucaria Grand Library Grace. Take the exit to find two summon signs. You summon to assist Selen, you get a certain set of rewards. If you summon challenge Selen, there are other rewards. Oh. Be summoned to challenge. Be summoned to assist. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? He's so bent on, he's so hell bent on killing her that he's ignoring me for the most part. Sorry, Selen sold me magic, so, you know, I'm gonna save her. It's a weird way to do that storyline, but alright. That's fine. If you, uh, defeat Selen, you get, uh... The Witch's Glintstone Crown and her Bell Bearing, and you also get Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. 
but you lose out on some other stuff. The ancient uh, dragon smithing stone is used to like fully upgrade a weapon. So that would have been nice, but I don't know. Th this stuff looks cool. Ah, my apprentice. You've saved my skin once again. Do you see this? The queen of Caria is no more. With the bodies of masters Azure and Usat returned, the academy can hone the primeval current. So that we, fallen children of the stars, shall beam with brilliance once again. My apprentice, will you stay with us here at the academy? Oh, I know it's not possible. You have your own calling to be the next Elden Lord. But do think of me, of your teacher. On the eve of your crowning, you will always be my darling pupil. Rest assured that I, no, the entire academy will swear allegiance. Someone's still fighting in the, the distance. Renala or <laughs> whoever. Become Elden Lord. Hmm. Perhaps I'm jumping ahead, but here is a symbol of my allegiance and the academies. Do you recall what once I told you? That glimstone is the amber of the cosmos, and sorcery is the study of the stars and the life therein. When you become Elden Lord, please illuminate me. Lay bare the secrets of life which course the Elden Ring. Next time, I will be your student. Oh, one last thing. If you fail to claim your throne... I will kill you. You can always pay me a visit. Oh. Oh, don't fret. Even my dullest pupils will always have a place here. A weird fucking thing to say. Shard spiral. What is it, my apprentice? Okay, so I'm just following this. I, again, I hate to say it, much as I love this game, and I do love this game a lot, Without a guide, I would have no idea. Like, zero. Which is Glintstone Crown? Why is it always despair? Uh, my... Uh, but I... Oh my god. That, that sorceress Selen? I don't believe this teacher. No joy ahead. Uh, So fucking disturbing. That is so fucking disturbing. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Did she do some forbidden shit? I think she was doing some forbidden shit. Now I'm cool as fuck. Since Grandmasters Azura and Lucet were driven from the Academy, no one has achieved their formerly held rank. Azura had reached a near inorganic state. Should I have killed her?
I, I don't I don't know anymore. I'm I'm speed. Okay, you get it. This this isn't for the spin wackies. Elden Ring is not usually spin. Elden spin, sping. <laughs> why 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 is that even a word? I put that in Wordle and it just didn't happen. S P I N G E. Pretty decent stone to drop from that random person. Um, I don't mind this so much. It's not the cool... There is no real crystal armor. Nothing that is in particular... Like, you're made of crystal. Which is what I was hoping for. But this definitely looks kind of weird and cool. And if I wanted to go full on sorcerer, this wouldn't be the worst way to do it. Really don't want to be here again. death. I hate the thing so much. I forgot its name. I forgot the name of that enemy, but I, I just don't like it. I don't want it. I don't need it. And then there's this set. Giant blue glintstone crown worn by Lusat. Primeval current sorcerer. This crown replaced Lusat's brain and skull altogether. And now, removed from his body, it is all but dead. What power remains within raises the potency of Lusat's primeval current sorceries at the cost of additional FP consumption. So fucking weird. Lusat also had reached a near inorganic state. I could wear this and then throw on like You know, something like this. Just to help with the defense. <laughs> Skull and brain replaced. And that'll be it. That is a fucking crazy quest line. Just some weird lore, and, uh, yeah, I'm a little disturbed. Just remove the, um, cape from all this stuff. Huh. And of course, I have a ton of stuff I can't use, but Ambush Shard. 
Strikes from behind with a projectile fired from a distance. very slow, but it does hit multiple times and pierces. Like, it goes through the enemy, so that's cool. I have to say, I kind of love this one. I could just be a big blue Eye of Sauron marble, and I'm totally okay with that. <laughs> Alright, well that's Elden Ring for today. Thanks for watching. It says 63 hours, but on Steam, it's uh, 65.4, so pretty close. I'm sure there will be another part appended to this one, so expect more Elden Ring in just a minute. See you soon. Thank you again. Time to become the Elden Shitlord, aka Dung Eater. Here we go again. <laughs> it's the next day. The game never ends. This is one of those rare cases where I don't, don't care. I'm enjoying the game so much, I just... This is rare that a game this long would continue to appeal to me. But, not just appeal, but like... You know, still grip me after all this time. By this time in Red Dead 2, which is a pretty different type of game, despite the fact that it is, um... an open-world, longer game. But by this point in Red Dead 2, I got 69 hours in Steam, it says. So that's cool. It's nice, even. But by this time, I was ready for it to end. It's like, yeah, we can, we can speed this thing along now, I think. It's time. Uh, great ways to perfect the earth raises all attributes. I gotta say, this outfit is just complete nonsense. But I'm gonna wear it for a little while, and I'm gonna combine it with some stuff to raise my physical defense. I mean, Banished Knight Gauntlets are pretty heavy, but that's the kind of stuff I'm looking for right now. So we're, we're gonna... So you get gauntlets and leggings that are pretty powerful. But then I also have this nonsense outfit. Oh god, it's fucking brilliant! Uh, Alright, let's let's strap in. What, what is there to do now? Well, a couple things. Man, every message appraisal is just crab. Back already. Unusual fella, aren't we? Did this aged merchant have something that caught your eye? Your face. Beast repellent torch. I want to get that. Have a safe. 
I forget why, but that's something that I could use. Also, there's something in, um, there's a, a twin blade I want to grab in the underground eternal city of Nakra. But first... Just a little salty about the amount of uh, runes I lost last time. First I've got to go here again. camera tries its best. Okay. Are we vibrating now? Another Achilles heel kill. That would definitely be something I'd want in a... a future version of a FromSoft game is just a way to, I don't know, maybe zoom the camera out a bit when you fight larger enemies. Um, just something. You may be saying, Bunswar, why are you here again? I have an answer. Bunswar has an answer. Just let me uh, figure out how to do that first. Golem right bow. I didn't even see these last time I was here. Night of the Great Jar. Oh, there you are. Those are some long Sephiroth blades you got there. Fuck. I'm not having the best time of this right now.
let's <laughs> use the wrong fucking thing. Yeah, this isn't going great. I these these knives are I want them to work. I'm just not good with them and I don't think they're doing a whole lot of damage. Marble Madness. See if we can just get away with riding past that giant. Dear God. It's a marvelous outfit. But is it good? I think it's a little close. <laughs> I don't like that. see what we can do here. Keep waiting for them to spawn over there, and they spawn exactly where you summon them. Why wouldn't they? Oh my god! Well, wow, even the fucking NPCs have the moon veil. There's one. A lot of blood stains from people in the pizza group group. Oh my god. 
Two down. I don't have very much healing left, so I think I'm going to switch weapons real quick. Also, I have enough seeds to upgrade my seedage, and I have not done so, so that's that's a little bit, you know, dumb of me. My God is an awesome God. <sighs> My brothers in Christ, what has this game done to us? It has turned us into heathens. Let's do this for real this time. You know, Trina's sword is really great. And uh, putting foes to sleep is... is good. But I'm gonna just use this. Okay, I gave the horse a raisin. It's probably fine now. Get yeah, float, hover. Yes, yes. Again, this weapon is slow. At least with the uh, power stancing the two swords, I can get some attacks off pretty quickly. This this is a great fucking weapon. It broken to a certain extent. It is slow as shit. I don't think it's always the best choice. It's, it's not always the best option. You know what happens when you get greedy? That. What a, what a tremendous waste of time. <laughs> to get that far and then greed it up and die. Mario turns pink and dies. That was a fucked amount of damage. Oh, come on!
Must have got a smithing stone out of that one. Okay, this is gonna be it for real this time. I'm not gonna play Greed Master. These are like randomly generated foes, I think. I don't think it's all one... It's like a pool of different types of summons. Yeah, you run out of stamina so fast with this fucking weapon. Alright, there's one. That's just me. Damn close to it. Heal up. Okay. You got better spells than I do. What the fuck? Oh man, where did you go? Where did you study? The Royal Lucario Library of Fools? The Great Pikachu Library. The Academy of Pikachu. God. I have these spells. Dead. Are you pleased yet, Great Jar? Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Not entertained? Yeah, uh, re vastly raises maximum equip load. It's only like a one pound difference. 1.5. It's not really that much of a difference, but... You know, I have it now. That's all that matters. Okay. Hmm. Where to? Hmm. You're not entertained! There's an NPC in here I might want to investigate. See if there's something going on. Do you remember when Maximo said that in the uh, Gladiator movie? He goes, I had to die in them. Love that scene. Blood slash. War parry, holy, do some. Yeah, 
Could extra bloody it up. Now it's like double blood. Entertain. <laughs> You're gonna leave now, right? I swear to God, if Vinny does that one more time, I'm leaving. I heard it through the internet, through space and time. Oh, no. Not. If the NPC will be listed here. Well, that was... Where Roger. That's where Roger was. Wasn't there some shitty NPC in Stormvale Castle? I remember reading about that recently. There was a quest. spend too much time here. At some point I may look for it, but I have to probably look it up first. Oh, I was wondering about something. Can't remove the cape from what I'm wearing now. Oh well. I mean, it looks cool. There's almost no reason to, but just in case I thought maybe it would be Nice. Find out. These enemies drop the exile armor. Which would certainly be nice to have. All right, birds. Yeah, there was some daffy asshole around here. I thought it was the beginning of the... Oh, shit. really see those smithing stone upgrade, uh, smithing stone drops definitely have increased. Maybe it's the castle where tunnel? Art thou not entertained? This is the tunnel where you defeat Margit. Well... I wonder if anyone's fighting Margit right now. Definitely. I mean, even someone in my group right now is... ...dying to Margit as we speak. So, yeah. I like the idea of reaching level 100 in Limgrave... ...and then going to defeat Margit and being like, this game too easy. Which, by the way, maybe not level 100, but this exact scenario has happened. There are people who are, like, over-leveling. And again, I don't blame people for doing that, because that is an option that the game gives you. That's what's great about this game, is the freedom 
to play it how you want. And that includes uh, a bit of the old cheese. Well, I call it cheese, but it's to me it's just leveling until you're ready. Like Final Fantasy games have done this for years. But you can also make the game as difficult as you want too. And you can play it like kind of under leveled. You don't really have to, you know, explore everything before getting to the, the good stuff. You can go fight Radon at level 20 if you want. But yeah, I think Margit being the first, like, actual problem that people have is funny to me now because I had problems with Margit and then I see people who are like, no, that was easy. There's no problem there. That was Babby fight. Yeah, I don't know where this NPC is. Maybe he's gone. It's possible. This game doesn't tell you a goddamn thing. <laughs> Seriously, it's like... Oh, NPC's gone now. You have to travel to Kaled to find it. And then the game just says... Good luck. I've been listening to the first Tears for Fears album a bunch. Uh, it's called The Hurting. I had never really heard more than a couple songs on it. Mad World is on it. But there's also Pale Shelter and the song The Hurting, which are both phenomenal songs. I mean, there's and there's some deep cuts in there that are also great. It's just a fantastic debut album. But if you are looking for a cool song. Maybe you'll like it, maybe you won't. If you haven't heard the song The Hurting by Tears for Fears, it is... It's great, and I never really heard it before. Like, I, you know, I listened to this album maybe kind of in the background, but songs from The Big Chair, the second one, the one that has Everybody Wants to Rule the World on it, that's the one I mainly listen to. But the one just before it, which is this one, I think is kind of just as good in many ways. It really is that good of an album. Same for their new one. I would almost put their new one on par with both of them. That's a rare feat. Yeah, I mean, I've already done all this. I don't see this NPC, so... I tried. Okay, so let's go kill a gargoyle, or two. So I think it's around here. There's like, um... There's an aqueduct of some kind that you have to fall onto. Mm. 
should probably find out before I start doing wacky stuff. Because I have a lot of runes. You know what? Let me just level up. Let's start fresh. How much does it take to level up now? I don't even fucking remember. Oh. Okay. All right. Gonna pause. Good luck. Not the pause button. Not the pause button. Pause button. Okay, there's jellyfish. I have to head north until I see jellyfish. Do the thing where you light the torches and then you get something. I'm pretty sure I did that, right? I don't remember what it did. Is there a jellyfish here? No. I remember this location, though. I got that there. Whoa. They're playing Rat Song. It's like, head north until you see four jellyfish. Well, now we're going northeast. Is that a jellyfish? That's a jellyfish. I don't know why I did that to that poor jellyfish. I'm the world's worst mage. I look like a mage, but I'm only wearing a mage's outfit. And I can do like three spells. I know I say this every time, but I can do like three and then I'm out of magic. Fucking terrible mage. Oh, that's interesting over there. That thing is glowing. I didn't even, okay. Well, I've lit the flames. That seems to be a thing that I haven't done. Someone is watching this like, what, what did Vinny just say? It's from a PSP commercial. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Just really good marketing. Really good marketing. Well, I got a reaction from all of us. So it must have been a good commercial.
Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Didn't expect strong foe. Why can you fly? Tell me why. Tell me why you flied and why I died to you. What is that tumor? Flame sack? Well, I gave it everything I had. Would you mind getting Scarlet Rot, please? Would you- would you mind? I'm sorry to say this, everybody, but these knives kind of fucking suck. I mean, I know it is I who also sucks with them. We suck together. I really wanted to do a knife build. And I'm just not- I'm just not enjoying it. I'm not doing damage, I'm not able to break poise, the procs aren't procking enough. This enemy is a nightmare. K N I G H T. <sighs> I mean, they're not fully upgraded, the knives, but they're okay ish. It's time for your nap. It's time for your nap. Happens. <laughs> Fuck. 
It's one of those things that just gets stuck in your head. The worst type of thing to get stuck in one's head, but... Time to sleep. It is time to sleep. You can see the progression of my frustration by which weapons I end up using. I hope you're having fun, viewers. At my expense. I have to say, viewers, I am pleasantly surprised at how many people have been watching this playthrough! How, how many people have been watching this playthrough? The first Elden Ring... Now again, numbers really don't matter, because I'll, I'll play stuff that only... You know, like, 5% of my audience will watch happily if the game is good. It doesn't bother me too much. But I also keep an eye on it just to see, like, okay, people are enjoying this. Or, like, oh boy, people really don't want to see me play Dying Light 2. Which, I mean, fair enough. But the first Elden Ring video... Let's, let's take a quick look at this while I calm from my anger. Check this out. Elden Ring Part 1... The five-hour stream, 134k. Dying Light 2, Part 2, 11k. <laughs> and both are open-world games. Not that I actually even really wanted to touch Dying Light 2 after the uh, crashing incidents and Elden Ring came out. And then, like, the, you know, people steadily have been watching these fucking massive videos. Which is nice, because I thought nobody was going to watch this shit. I really didn't. I was like, well... I'm doing it for me, and if anyone wants to watch, that's great, but yeah, no, people have been either morbidly curious or just falling asleep to this. Either way, I'm glad people have liked this playthrough, because it's been uh, a, a tremendous amount of fun to do. Wrong button, we need the other sword. Oh, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. I forgot you. Whoa! 
we die together. Fuck face. <laughs> crucible horn shield. Oh, these are the famed crucible knights. It's a great shield with strike. You can use the spike to strike. I didn't get the runes for that. Also... Gone now. Crucible Knight is dead. I mean, I don't feel... Tremendous. I don't feel tremendous. In regards to how that fight ended. I would have felt more tremendous if I had lived and dodged out of the way before it flew to its death. That would have been tremendous. Dave Letterman always used to call things tremendous, and I just, I like, that word is extremely, to me, it's almost sarcastic. Are you a crucible knight too? This isn't your fight. I'm very impressed by this enemy. I gotta say, that is impressive. Some would say tremendous. Oh, this is the proper way. I see, that's proper. Let's see. Why would I do that? Gotcha. They're worth 3,000. Somber smithing stone. I love discovering that an area you've been to is actually way more depthful than you first thought. I didn't know this aqueduct was here. Where the fuck did this come from? Yeah. 
order healing. Order to come. Up, dog. What's up, dog? Ooh, didn't expect fat coin purse. This marble outfit is definitely growing on me. I mean, you can even do marble head with any kind of armor. And it might look cool. Why well, I say cool, I mean, one man's trash is another's treasure. Finally, something behind a waterfall. Oomst. Inner order. Could this be gargoyle fight? Stay in the poison and just greedily continue to hit my assailant. That's how you play these games. I... I am very experienced at said games to know these things. I've only played a couple of them. Another gargoyle has appeared.
only a little it's only a little poison. Gargoyle's great sword, Gargoyle's twin blade. All right. Vacuum slice. cool. But I was here for the twin blade. Because this makes a lot of sense. I mean, maybe, if you're very skilled, you could probably make it happen. But yeah, two weapons for that fight. It's the first... Extra twin blade I found. Well, what I mean by that is this is the second twin blade I found, and it took only 69 hours. Finally, rest. All right, yeah. Where the fuck are we and how do we defy physics? That's all I want to know. This... <laughs> this fucking outfit goes through the geometry. Am I gonna have to fight another crazy demon? Probably. Oh, we're, we're underneath the fucking... the, uh, capital. Who's this? trees.
God damn it. I need to upgrade this other twin blade if I'm gonna... I'm gonna do anything with it. It's a faith weapon. <whistles> Gotta catch them all, even if you can't use any of them. Pokemans. I know that we're best friends. See. Oh no! No, 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 no. You're not gonna take my runes away from me, Ants. No, you're not. No, you're not. God damn it! What the fuck are these ants on? Adapted to raid, I guess. What are we going to do when ants develop an immunity? Like, what, are, what if us using bug spray is just making, like, insects more powerful? And then at some point they're going to evolve to survive that. And become stronger and be able to spit poison back at us. You know, the ones that already can't. Gotta be careful with bugs. I want them to evolve to get too big. Like they are in this game. Hello, friend. <laughs> Do we <laughs> we're just moving at the same rate?
Well, gravity spells are very good against flying enemies of any kind. Just instantly grounds them. So we'll just continue using Rock Sling. Rock Sling is one of those spells that you get it, and it's... kind of hard to want to replace it. And there's almost no reason to replace it, because it is that good. It's got range, it's gravity, it's got rocks. Beautiful. This is just another way back here. No, it's not. This is separate. This is just a... Uh, try horse. Could this be a cave? Uh, Sight of Grace. Right there. Running a little dangerous right now with 50,000 runes. It's like spraying poison into an ant's home. What I'm doing right now, I'm just fumigating. That probably really sucked for the ants. Newman's Rune? Like from Seinfeld? Wait, 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 what? Newman. Multitude of runes. Huh. A multitude. All right, we got to get the spray again. Oh, they all drop Newman's runes. You can only have one... Uh, poison mist, Night Maiden's mist, up at a time.
Can't reach. Stupid ants. A little greedy. No. Nope. 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 Got a little greedy. Wasted a rune arc too. Fuck these ants so hard. They, uh, Mm. They announced a new Ghostbusters game. It's an asymmetrical shooter developed by some really iffy developer. And it looks pretty... pretty bad. But the one takeaway is that one of the characters that you can choose looks like Mike Stoklaza. If you see the screenshots, you might notice it. Or maybe I'm just losing my mind. But yeah. Kind of looks like him a little bit. sound. Just keep that sound coming. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. <laughs> so deserved. Elden Stars. Faith, probably. Or an incantation, I don't know. Creates a stream of golden shooting stars that assail the area. That's a, yeah, that's a Faith 50. 
that one right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Ambush shard. Have any other interesting things? This, by the way, you can only use once per um, death per life, and it can, you know, it's like a beam. It's like a mega buster, and you just hold that on an enemy and they die. I've seen videos of it used on bosses, and it just takes them out. But again, you have to like raise your damage with it, and you have to stay in one place. And there's a long wind up time, and you can only use it once. So if you fuck up, you have to like die to use it again. That's my understanding of it. But make no mistake, it is kind of fucking broken once you can actually get an enemy in your sights. I do wish I could use the, um... I can use this with the rune, great rune activated, so I'm gonna try that. I was going to say, I wish I could use the, um, which one? Not the crystal. This one. Crystal Torrent. That one seems pretty fucking badass. Wrong, viewer. Did uh, something interesting happen just then? Because that was just normal gameplay for me. Didn't shit my pants just now. <laughs> nope. Not at all. Just normal gameplay. What happens when you're Shrimbo? <laughs> now this isn't water, is it? This is just milk. Oh, never mind. No, it's water. It just looks weird. I still don't know what the ultimate point of this entire area is. Or why it is in the game. There's so many little sub areas like this that just are just exists. And magic can be really fun. Looks nice. I like the shiny, shiny of it. I still want to be mostly melee, but I definitely enjoy mixing it up a little bit. And the magic in this game is fucking dope. Oh, my poor, sweet lordling. 
should have died a true death. As the first of the demigods to die. As a martyr to destined death. But why must it yet bring such disgrace? A scion of the Golden Bough. Sentenced to live in death. How could such a thing come to be? Oh. I wonder the same thing. A once beautiful land. Completely fucked by an outer space alien that wishes to impose its golden will upon its inhabitants. I think I got that right. <clears throat> Still waiting for that body video. No! I almost don't mind dying to Deathlight because of how fucking cool it looks. Almost. Can't use that cool spell now because I've, I've lost a rune arc. Map found. Wow. I just wasn't expecting this big of a sub area. underground cities in this game. I guess caverns big enough to do so, and with light, too. It's magic. Or maybe there's like, you know, 60 hours of lore. Boy, I can't wait for a YouTube video to explain what it is I played for about 100 hours by the time I finish this game. Otherwise, how would I know?
vacuum slice. It's not the best you don't have the right I've seen, but it's worthy of an appraisal. It looks like a moose. Moose is in the house. Played, outmaneuvered, outshined. Feeling Minnesota while looking California. Oh no shit, one of these lads is down here, huh? Sometimes when I play this game, I feel like I've stumbled upon something that no one else has ever seen. I know that to be categorically false, but... It just gives me that feeling sometimes. Check something out here. Slowly restores HP. I wonder if there's one that slowly restores FP. I'm going to take more damage now. <laughs> I 
What the fuck? I don't know how much extra damage I'm taking, but it's, it's, uh, you know, probably not good for my health. You ever hear the expression, he died penniless, or she died penniless? When you get killed by a rune bear, you die penisless. Now, that's all, folks. Thanks for watching. Thank you. That's the end of Vine Sauce Forever. Some people are like, oh, thank God. Thank God, it's finally, the nightmare has finally come to an end. ba da 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 Check it out now. I mean, granted, I have to do all kinds of wacky stuff to check it out, but we're gonna check it out. This whole game has been a distinct lack of things behind waterfalls. And now it's just... All of the things behind waterfalls have, have happened all at the same time. Really, it, they're up there. My runes are up there. took all of my magic to kill one enemy 
and that was buffed? Granted, magic users such as myself, aka Babbies, we, um, uh, we, most of us would probably have more FP than I do right now. But still. I feel like the- well, there's also ways you can boost the damage of your magic. So maybe with that, it'll be worth it, but right now for me, that is not really worth it. So I'm not gonna start heading in that direction. I think I pretty much have all the spells I need, and if I don't, there's probably some spells I've missed that are cool. Oh, and you can't even, like, turn. This is nice. Easy 3,500 runes. Prince of Death's Staff. This requires Faith 18. Boosts Death Sorcery. Ooh. Is Death Sorcery in this game? Oh, yeah. No, there is. <laughs> of course there is. Never mind.
Yeah. Oh. Maybe that's a good drop. I don't know. A Mausoleum Knight's armor. Looks crusty, but kind of cool. I'm going to go back to my Flintstone armor real quick. But nice to get an armor drop. Moose is in the house. Man, that, that stuff has some pretty good AoE. I feel like Adula's Moonblade is still probably, like, the best spell I have. Not the most utilitarian spell I have, but probably the best overall. Good range, lots of damage. Frost. somewhat dangerously there. Please don't clip this. Please don't clip this. <sighs> Consolation prize. Here's your zero runes. Zero runes.
fuck. Oh, that was such lame nonsense. <sighs> I just walked right off the fucking cliff. Well, the horse did. I'm going to blame the horse. I was platforming so well, too. Up until then, I was like, yeah, yeah, jump. Yeah, I love the horse. Controls well. And then I tried to double jump, and it was like... Fuck you. Alright, there's, there's a Sight of Grace right here. I had a lot of runes again. I'm I'm in like the business of losing thirty thousand to fifty thousand runes each playthrough or more. That's why there's so many weapons in this game. So that way they could hide smithing stones all over the goddamn place. So that you're... You get your rocks off. Every time you go to an area, explore, and then you, you know, there's something at the end of the tunnel, or something on the top of a tree branch, something inside of a monster's face, sometimes it's something inside of a monster's m scrotum. Every time you find a new thing, you have a chance to upgrade a new of the a new weapon of the 35,000 weapons that are in this game that you can't use anyway. Ah oh, yes. Ah yes. Apply the gel. Why are we shooting that there for?
Me? I'm just in the rune losing business. No. No! <laughs> what? 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 Time to not upload this part. Oh no. Oh, this is an actual real boss. Am I, like, bad? I relied on magic for far too long. As in the past hour. And now, it's over. Now it's over. top of the building. Take me down the building. Fuck you. Don't need to go down the building. We don't need to live down the building. Just die when you get up there. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Motherfucker. Don't worry, motherfucker, please don't. That's every Italian song that they play at any New York Italian festival. It's just that, I'm walking. Fuck your mother. Get the fuck out of my city unless you're a rat. It is a great spear. Requires 20 faith to use, but it is it seems it seems great.
First off, weak foe. Yeah. I mean, depending on if you're using your Mimic tier, of course. Crucible Tree Helm, Crucible Tree Armor, Crucible Gauntlet, Crucible Grieve. Yeah. Well, these Greaves are even better than my old ones. I mean, this is getting into heavy load territory now, but... Looks cool. <laughs> Got some protection here, but also looks good, in my opinion. Still get to wear my silly crown. Or marble, whatever you want to call it. Don't worry, motherfucker. Eat some shit. I mean, for the build I'm going for, this outfit works for me, because you get the magic side of it, but there's also the, the Crucible Knight side, which is, I use a lot of melee. Uh, very cool of me. Very cool. Very legal, very cool. Where are my runes? Where have they gone? I'd like to not lose them again this time. Why I'm singing everything now. That's when you know I'm angry, is when I just, like, sing silly, like, Italian folk songs that don't exist. Are some crazy roots. Just took root around a city with no remorse, no fucks given. What am I gonna have to fight here? No. 
I've seen some shit, but this thing truly frightens me. is champion. Didn't expect weak foe indeed. It's using the weapon that I have. Oh, there's more. Rogier? This. We'll do this. Again, if you're like, why does Vinny always point the camera down? Literally can't change it when locked on. That was the weirdest complaint of my videos I've seen in a while. <laughs> Fia's missed. Where'd she go? Faith 18. I thought I was going to have to fight that giant thing. Assuming a god. I don't know. I Like, again, I read some of the lore, but I don't know what the fuck is happening. I just, I'm, I'm just enjoying looking at it. Dell now. How about that? Guess this is one way to get here. I'm also not going to upgrade the other twin blade just yet. We've never been this close to the tree, or have we? Dude was just done. Didn't even want to fight. Had no fight left. And here I am, causing bleed. A fucking jerk. I like the tapestries. The tapestry. Oh, you, M M Melania? 
My utmost thanks for bringing me to the base of the Erd Tree. Here, I can govern my own movement, and thus, the accord is fulfilled. I shall depart to ascertain the purpose I was given. Farewell. I shall leave Torrent and the power to turn runes into strength here with you. Okay. I wish you luck in realizing your ambition. You have fought long and hard. I have no doubt you will become Elden Lord. May you take the throne. Damn. All right. Well, it was nice. Thank you for everything. Seriously. I'm so far. Sadness, oh sadness, yeah. Sorry, what are these things? Offer oh, pickle. Good music. This place looks amazing. I really love this fantasy world they've created here. I, I think it's... It would be a shame not to revisit it at some point. I hope there's a DLC of the before times. Or even just, you know, more media based on Elden Ring. I'd, I'd read it. Or check it out. Just don't have George R. R. Martin write it, because then we'd never get another one. But well, we made it to the royal capital, but we're not... I don't want to do this yet, because there's still all this stuff. This is like end-end game. So I have more to do. I have the Volcano Manor, and then there's this area, which... I'll tell you about that another time. So I'm not quite ready for that stuff yet, but um, I have to go for now, and then tomorrow I'll probably play a little bit more, and that will be its own video, as usual. So thank you for watching this episode. Hmm. I want to remove the cape from this. I kind of like the cape on this one. It's, it's small enough it doesn't really get in the way. I think I look like a right twat. Okay. This has been a weird Elden Ring. I didn't expect to do half of the things that we did, but... Got some good stuff out of it. See you soon, and uh, that will be... There will be more. Bye for now. Can't stop playing Elden Ring! Ah. Let's stop. The spirits when they need you! Oh, it is way too early to do a Tony Kiedis impression. It's also too early for my controller to not, <laughs> not work again. Why do you do this, Pro Controller? You could just turn on. You could, you could just turn on. Thank you. It just, it's like, you have to unplug it and replug like, four times, and then it works. Mistressly. So, last time, yeah, we, we went to, yes, we were in Lane Dell. 
Will we stay here? No. <clears throat> nope. We're going to explore more Alto, Al Altus Plateau. But first, there is a thing that I would like to play. It's a video on YouTube called... Oh shit, what is it? Ah, Message Appraised. That's what it's called. No, the video is called, like, uh... When Anthony Kiedis ruins your vibe. Here we go. Listen to this. No, not now, Rick. Uh, that's actually real, I found out. That is real. Well, it's real in the sense that... It was an outtake. So someone just combined it. And, uh... It's a, it's a good one. It's a good voice crack. Up, beep, beep, doot. I don't think I've been through this. I've done so much in this game, and yet have I been through this? Oh, it's the windmill area. This is exactly where I want it to be. I know of some locations of some stuff, but at this point, I'm just going to explore. The fuck? What? Tree. Yes, tree. Has no one... I, someone has left messages here, for sure. But I'll leave one for our group. Just in case you didn't know what was happening here, now you can... Now you can know. So you can enjoy that message. Oh god, all more messages appeared. Time for introspection. Master. Ah, help me. Yeah, now there's a message... ...probably every square inch of this game. Like this, for example. Could this be rump? Time for tail. It's not a remarkable thing. It is just a thing. It's an area. It is messaged to hell and high water. I'm a glintstone crown, battle mage robe, battle mage manchan, battle mage leg wraps, battle mage, huh? That's me. I'm a battle mage. I like my current outfit. Maybe do the wraps? Battle mage ones? No, these are good. No, I'm pretty happy with the way my dumb character looks right now. Weirdly enough. A 
roving band of crusty mummers. They're just always around. Always roving. Always roaming. I'm sorry, what the fuck is this? I bet if you slowed that footage down, the hitbox would be insane. Like, I'm pretty sure they swung above me by like an inch. never fails to surprise me. Just really doesn't. Navy hood, noble traveling garb, noble gloves, noble trousers. Twinned night sword, or is it twined? Well, noble outfit. Let's see. Navy hood. Noble's traveling garb. Noble gloves. Just want to see what the full set looks like. And trousers. White trousers of superior craftsmanship. Okay. Oh. Increases mind. else increases mind, but it's a pretty clean outfit for having found it in, like, a pile of fire. Don't you agree? Oh, it is another, uh, twin blade. Just, they're, like, weird. Okay. No twin blades, and now all twin blades. Whoa, look at this nonsense. Oh god, did you see that? It turns into like... And it makes a weird noise. It turns into like, um, Terminator 2 fluid. Still a pretty big fan of... that. I don't know if it's meta, but it's cool. Do you know how few things in this game have the uh, sleep attribute? Like, seriously, almost none. Apparently the Sword of St. Trina... There's a staff, I think? There are very few... ...things. Very few indeed. And only a few enemies, too. I think, like... Two? That will apply sleep. Oh, I see. Get, I get it. That's, that's funny. Water.
But apparently you can trade for another sort of St. Trina, and you can have two, and then you can apply sleep like an insane... Like, uh... I don't know, anesthesiologist? Yeah. I find that to be a uh, somewhat amusing... ...prospect. Just going around... ...putting everything to sleep. And that's your character. That's your specialty. You're the sleep knight. See? I played Tunic on my stream yesterday, if anyone didn't watch that. It is kind of like a Souls-like. In some ways, in a lot of ways, like, it's got the bonfire system, the combat, it's simple, in ways, but it feels pretty good, the combat feels decent, more than decent. It looks like a little Zelda Link to the, uh, Link's Awakening remake, like, tribute, and then you play it. Oh, I can summon rats now? And it is much more than that. Like, it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit of Zelda, it's a little bit of Elden Ring. <laughs> um, some people have described it as having a little bit of the game Fez. The only reason I would even say yes to that is because the music, and I never played Fez, I've just watched people play it, but, uh, the music and some of the secrets are based on, like, discovering little secret areas through the isometric, like, um, levels. So, yeah, Tunic is good. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that a recommendation. I've only played an hour and a half, and I got really into it. The best mechanic... ...outside of, you know, the... I mean, not every game needs, needs to have the Souls... ...gameplay. But, I think it works for this. But the other thing I like about it is there's a mechanic... ...where you find pieces of an instruction manual... ...and it looks like a worn instruction manual from, like, Zelda 1 that you would find. And it actually gives you lore and information on how to progress, and even, like, learning to level up. Which I didn't know how to do for a while, I found it in a page in the manual. So you actually look forward to finding the manual pages, and the art is wonderful. And it gives you genuinely helpful tips. Because the game is a little bit cryptic on purpose. So yeah, Fez... Uh, Fez. What the fuck am I talking about? Tunic is, so far, a hit for me. A sight of grace. Right here. Somewhere nearby. I just saw it. I seen it and now it's gone. Can't wait for the Elden Ring movie with the Nirvana soundtrack. I had a weird dream about the Foo Fighters... ...playing Howard Stern. I, don't, I haven't thought of Howard Stern in years. I don't know why he showed up in one of my dreams. So fucking weird. But I was there at the studio watching the Foo Fighters play, and... It turns out the Foo Fighters were also, like, friends of some friends I knew, and my, a keyboardist was someone... ...that 
I knew, but it was weird. And then Dave Grohl dressed up like a clown. And the, the show ended. But Howard Stern was also blonde. It was bizarre. I, I don't know. Whatever. It's just one of those weird fucking subconscious... I, I tried to decipher what does it mean. And I came up with Dave Grohl as a clown. It's the best I've got. person just like bite themselves it also um I had a weird thought about Kurt Cobain anyway which is that people are like oh god here we go but he was only famous for two and a half years of his life. Like, super famous. And people get this image of him being, like, kind of, like, distant. Like, overly angry and sad. And serious and, like, maybe drugged. Which, sure. But... I feel like everything I've heard about him, everything I've read and seen from before that, even during that time, to a degree... He had a good sense of humor. He joked around a lot. He was very sarcastic. Seemed pretty put together. And then he became the most famous person on the planet. And became withdrawn, scared, bitter. I mean, the, look what the news does today. Imagine all of that focus is on just you. And you're constantly being told you're a bad father, you're a bad this, you're a bad that. You know... Not everyone can fucking handle that right away. Especially some young dude that already probably had depression and anxiety issues. Point I'm trying to make is that the image we get of this guy is the image we've seen of him being, like, you know, sad and withdrawn at, like, the, the MTV Unplugged. Meanwhile, that was only a short period of his short life. I feel like there's probably a whole lot more to the story that none of us could actually ever really know. And maybe he was actually much more of a happier person at various times. But, you know, sadly by now, we just know him as like the scowling, um, depressed Batman guy. Because now he's in the Batman movie. <laughs> I don't know where this conversation came from, but just a thought I had. It's like you put someone in a pressure pot, pressure cooker, and then you film them for like what is basically 10% of their life. And then that is what they're known as forever. I just kind of feel bad for the dude. Clearly no amount of money he made and success could, you know, save him from himself or Courtney. Eek, I hear a festive melody. No, don't skin me. My hide is filthy, I swear. I haven't seen the Midsummer movie. But this is what I'd imagine that movie is like. Oof. 
The way they're moving reminds me of Resident Evil 4. There was an update to this game today. Just a bunch of bug fixes. I didn't dig into the patch notes, but... It looks like... Just trying to address a number of issues that people had. I don't know, there might have been some rebalancing- uh, Maybe rebalancing? Probably not. This was the... Point... Five patch. Not the big one for anyone watching this in the future. We got a... Three weeks in, there was a pretty early decent sized patch that added back in some quests, so it's not that one. That one already happened. This one is like 100 megabytes. I feel like the, the term megabyte has kind of lost its punch, considering megabytes aren't that mega anymore. I feel like megabytes are the new bytes. What the fuck? Corpseflip.png Visions of friend, therefore, offer armor? That made no sense. Grease lightning? Oh, lightning grease. <laughs> Say, isn't that John Travolta's whip? Do you remember in when I streamed, some of you may remember this, but for those that don't, I, I streamed um, a Wii game that was like Grease the Musical. And it was the movie Grease, but on the Wii. And it was a rhythm game. So you would sing the songs of Grease. And uh, there was a line from one of the songs, a couple of the songs were had some stuff, because I don't remember the movie Grease, I saw it when I was a kid. But, basically the line was Pussy Whip, I think. Or like Pussy Wagon. And it was censored. <laughs> and I couldn't believe that that was in a Wii game. That was like all cartoony, it was like deliberately like cartoon. A good moment.
birds. I remember one of these. I struggled on one of these lads. Oh! Yep, struggling again. If I summoned my Mimic or used weapons that weren't knives, perhaps that would have been a little bit more first try. But I'm going to try it again with the knives because I really want to kill something with these knives. So I want to make it... I want to make it worth it. I want to make it worth it. the way whoa sorry <laughs> this is a serious playthrough of Elden Ring I mean the bleed effects are nice I don't know if rot was applied to that enemy godskin peeler scouring black flame very interesting I think the the godskin peeler is the one I wanted Black Flame Tornado got on it. Hmm. Indeed. Do I wish to use such things? Gotta have amassed a large quantity of weapons at this point, haven't I? Oh, the wrong bolt bolt on. I know I can put them in storage. can buy smithing stones. If I need to, I'm just gonna upgrade this one. Because I've been looking at 
various twin blades. And this one looks kind of neat, so... Oh, it's you. oh, you got a thing? Something? Don't pay me any mind. It's not important. Just lay out your arms. What's going on, man? Smithing Stone 2. That's the first time I've heard some new dialogue from that dude in a while, so I'm assuming something is, is rotten in the state of Denmark. Oh wait, no, that's just Dung Eater. The loathsome Dung Eater. There he is, the face of the lonesome dung eater. Lonesome and loathsome. If I could strike him down now, I would. I really would. Goodbye, runes. If only those, like, 150,000 runes that I, I lost over the past couple days were still here. <laughs> Time to find some farm birds. Back already. No matter. Oh, this, this, uh, loathsome... Loathsome prices. Well, I definitely wanted dual twin blades anyway, so this uh, this is the one I'm going to focus on. So I may as well spend the money on it. Whatever. What are we up to here? We're up to plus eight. So yeah, I just need... That's good. Are you loathsome tonight? Are you chowing on shite? Back already, no matter. Loathsome. Okay. Can get some parity between the two. Both plus 17. I'm pretty happy with that. Oh no, one of the twin blades goes through the marble. Oh, they didn't account for that, did they? But 
Well, let's test it out. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fan so far of that. That's pretty great. Unique twin blade wielded by Godskin Apostles, characterized by its disturbing design. One end features a sickle for slicing attacks, while the other boasts a winding spike for boring into flesh. Much skill is required to wield this weapon due to its asymmetrical design or nature. Does this have any bleed on it? No, it doesn't. Two forty plus one oh two. I like it. Looks cool. Fits my bizarre character. At least I think it does. And I quite enjoy this. Good tidings. Sorry, I was just trying to join in. You know, in the festival. The only thing that sucks about it is, um, it's special takes up a lot of FP. But, it seems like a pretty good special. It's the only Black Flame special I've been able to use so far. Nothing. Oh, do I missed? Fear not. I'm here now. Yeah, the only problem with the special on this thing is that it does take a while to wind up, and it leaves you pretty vulnerable. I could always respec it if I wanted to. But I kind of like it, as is. I know there's a hero's grave around here that has a like a big thumb in it. For those that don't know what I'm talking about, know this. You'll see.
Also, just thank you for watching this. It just struck me like, yeah, there's a lot of people that have been watching these. I mentioned it in the last part, which is this part. But people who are just like following through on all of the hours of me playing Elden Ring. Like, damn. So, you know, thank you for wishing to be um, in my... Wishing to share my company, even though it's just me talking to myself. Oh boy, I haven't seen one of these in a while. I was really hoping that would work. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, guards, your convoy left without you. Fun. It's fun when it works. We like to have fun here. That wasn't fun.
I remember when I saw these, I was like, Yo, they're huge! Yo, how do you fight an enemy so big? And then we fought, have like, gods that are twice the size of this by now. Stars. It's a mace. It's a hammer. It causes blood loss buildup. Oh, it's fucking massive. <laughs> of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Shh, don't tell them I'm here. I love the AoE. Man, when you can pull it off, it is so satisfying. It's probably not going to be so great against bosses, but... Just... Shit-tier enemies like this? Wonderful. That dog was eating that blood rot. okay for bosses. But then again, look at look at look what's happening here. <laughs> so I mean again, slightly overleveled. Slightly. Ever so slightly. That was we didn't expect weak foe. Alright, well. Clearly other people didn't struggle with that one so much. Bloody Hellas. Hellice? It's a rapier. Heavy thrusting sword causes blood loss buildup. Ominous piercing sword with a winding blade carried by the noble servants of the Lord of Blood. Who is the Lord of Blood? Designed to bore into flesh causing severe blood loss at the wound. The, the extracted blood trickles gracefully down the length of the blade. Honestly, the communal aspect of this game, for someone who likes to play solo, like me, is perfect. Because I don't even have to bother with other people, but yet I know they're still, like, there, leaving messages, jumping around, fighting the same bosses as I am. It's kind of cool.
weapons of monstrosity of the highest order. Flame on a stick. No, no, let me use the move. Please. Yes, good. Broken down convoy. Likely thief. A gaggle of fools. Visible sort ahead. Something incredible ahead. Oh, it's the invisible church thing. Oh. Before very much, I would like to get that giant thumb, which is somewhere near Mount... It's in Mount Gelmer. I'm gonna find that, but first I need to take a quick break. Sometimes you got to get yourself some water. Sometimes nature calls. Sometimes it's none of your business. I'll be right back. I'm walking here. And we're back. Nature do be calling, though, sometimes. I can't believe I've adopted the doobie speech thing. <laughs> you say something ironically sometimes, and then eventually it just becomes something that you say. It's gonna work out so great, but let's see if we can unlock that one. Well, something's happening. People are dying in the distance. Um, 
I'll just collect those runes. Don't don't mind me. Forty-two intelligence right now. And the spell that I like is 43. So just one more int. I'll be able to use that, and that's probably where I will stop leveling int for the time being, at least. Because the Stars of Ruin spell is just great. How did I survive? Still haven't uncovered the map for this area. I wonder why the jellyfish are here. I wonder if this is where Aurelia died. Where they're like mourning the jelly grave or something. Visions of friend, therefore let there be group. See, they're not attacking me. I'd call them jelly friends. Probably up there, the map. Here's the map. You know, you can still clip on YouTube and then just leave it as a comment. I th think you can clip on YouTube. I know it makes it a little harder, but if you use the clip feature for moments that are good, it helps us out. You can send them to, uh, you know, at full sauce on Twitter, which is probably the best way to do it. Johnny will take a look at them. I'll just go in here while I'm here. It's kind of a lot of Mount Gilmer. Yes, let us escape to a corner. Big lad. Prelate Inferno Crozier. Prelate Greaves. Crozier? 
Like Captain Crozier? Fossil hammer with the appearance of roiling flames, weapon of the prelates. Prelates, who lead the fire monks, its heft represents the weight of their guardianship. Okay. These are heavy. Yeah, those are extremely heavy. My ass is ever. How could I joke around at a time like this? Make big pots. Fresh pots, even. Eek the wretched fools. What's happening? They'll never find me. Is there, like, an invisible person here? Fire Scorpion Charm. I'll survive, I swear it. Soon be back at the Volcano Manor. Raises fire attack but lowers damage negation. I'll just... You just go this way. See if I could find the map this way. Oh, right, I remember this. There's no need to fight them. This, I did not go up. No. Like the lighting, the moonlight on the rocks. Sadness ahead. Why is it always tarnished?
the amount of people in this game that just died in a chair overlooking a cliff. It's quite astounding. been a huge battle here. Perhaps the same can be said of all Elden Ring locations. They're kind of just grieving their fallen brethren. And here I am, like, oh, why not join them? That's why they have to join them. After what that dude just did to me. Absolutely mental. Whoa, I can't get a single hit. Okay. How the fuck would that, was that happening? Sometimes you just play like ass. Like it's, I don't, I don't get it. Maybe it's because you get too comfortable attacking lower level enemies. But the ass just flows. Like ass juice. argument ahead. But imagine if FromSoft allowed you to go all the way up here and there wasn't an item ahead. Imagine that, for just a second. Pulley bow. It is what it says it is. Holy please.
fuck is this? What the hell is this? What's any of this? Sound of that. I wonder if this is the hero's grave. Yeah, it is. The beast eye quivers. Oh, some so there's some death ahead. Cool. Good luck. Good luck. The best addition to the soundboard. Here's another scummy chariot. I wonder if those skeletons are oily, like if there's any fluid that comes out of their bones, like boner fluid. Yeah, I know, I, saw, I tried to say the funny. We've gone so long without seeing one of these chariots.
Oh, let's go to the hero's grave, he says. Let's try spinning. That's a good trick, he says. Skull. There's stuff down there. God damn it. <laughs> These skeletons have lived, I mean, have died here for this long, and they still don't know how to, like, navigate this nonsense. Note to self, don't go anywhere near this fire. No. Oh. Christ. I dodged. You saw that. That was a last second dodge. Didn't make it. 
I was probably like one frame off. Oh no, that's that's bad. Huh. That's bad. Apparently you can destroy the chariot. Um... Well, that's in the other grave. I just looked it up real quick. That's in the Fringe Folk one, the one that I... ...first struggled with. Let the skeletons live, he says. Let the skeletons live. Once you knock it down, it, st it stays down, I guess. So we're going up this time. Oh, I'm alive. All right. Goodbye, runes. 20,000 gone. 20,000 men and women everywhere. Come on, baby, we can be like they are. I hate these sections very much.
panicked. <laughs> There's probably something down there, too. There's like a drop down I saw. I don't know. Bloodhound Night Helm, Bloodhound Night Armor, Gauntlets, and Greaves. Gelmer Night Helm, Gelmer Night Armor, Gauntlets, and Greaves. Wow. Could you imagine if there was a system in this game? Like, I don't even know where this dude stores all this stuff, but could you imagine if it was like a Skyrim like weight system? How much of a drag exploration would be? Bloodhound knights are trained as hunters and known to be unshakable trackers. With the use of language, each knight chooses it's his own master. Once the decision has been made, the knight stays loyal for life. Wait, did you see that? Helm worn by knights, once loyal to Praetor Riker. Rikard. The crest of red feathers symbolizes Rikard's pedigree as Lord Radigan's son. Let's see. Fuck you, enemy. Fuck you very much, in fact.
but it's not the one that you're supposed to keep going. It's one you can keep going, that wasn't it. Aristocrats may contain raisins. Dick. Dick. Oh, fucking chariots suck. That's not good. Fucking annoying skeletons, chariots, lava. No wonder it's called the Hero's Grave. That's not where you jump off. <laughs> What a nightmare this whole fucking place is.
and that much effort just to get back to where I was. Why not? I guess it's a good thing I went back in there, huh? Got the Mantis Blade. It's a curved sword that I'm not going to use. But I bet it looks cool. Yeah. Someone somewhere has listed that as their favorite sword in the game. No, we don't want- we don't want this. We don't want that. I'm confused. What do we do, ghost? Ghost friend, what do we do? I'm sorry to say, I have no idea what to do. I have to... I have to find out how to do this, I think. Directly right of this crevice is another slope with two drop-down points. Drop down to the left. It'll lead you to a secret opening. Here. Actually, 
keep rolling over the lava. Left, there will be a room. Oh. Keep your eyes on the right side. You will the chariot. <sighs> I mean, it's not helping me a whole lot, but... One thing I know I can do now is just hop over the lava to get the... the finger. down to that spot. I can't believe this is what the game expects you to do. That is full on, like, bizarro. <sighs> well, here's the first weapon that I'll be leveling that, uh... Wait, what the hell is it? it? It is a hammer. Right? It's got strike. It's the first strike weapon. That I'll be leveling. Look at it. Oh, look at it. It's wonderful. It gives the big finger. It makes the big finger! And it just flicks! This is the dumbest shit I've ever seen, and I love it. Worth rolling on lava several times for. Turns out, that was actually, like, the way to go entirely, it seems. Force required ahead, then jumping required ahead. I guess this is just down here. This is the other part, the other side of the lava. Because up there... And that would be a lot of lava rolling. As much as I'd love to see this finger in action, you know what I mean. It's not leveled. <laughs> what a great weapon! Top five weapon of the entire game so far for me. Like, just design-wise, it's- it's- or maybe top three? Top two?
this isn't the right weapon. What have I equipped? What have I equipped? Game this big is probably a little hard to balance. Death Root. I think I'm done here. Yeah, that was it. Luckily. Got one of the best weapons I've ever seen in a video game. Uh, wanted to scream several times because of chariots. Had to roll in lava and somehow tank all of the damage. Well, most of it. So I'd say that was like a 10 out of 10 experience. And then, like, kind of pulped some bosses. Rainbow stones lead the way to riches. Yeah. Does that just mean it leads the way to the grave? Maybe during playtesting, they were finding out that people did not go this way. They're like, how do we make people go this way? A trail of shiny stones. At least that's my assumption. Uh-oh, this area is empty. Zero out of ten game. <laughs> There's an area that's empty that doesn't have a meaningful reward. I knew something stupid was going to happen here. Is this like a... Babby Godric? Wrong button.
scavenger's curved sword. Unique curved sword, notched like shark's teeth, weapon carried by corpse pillagers who prowl the sites of old battles. The blade is tacky with blood and covered in hefty nicks, making it totally uneven. Life can be sinister indeed. I didn't read this before, but... Let's see. Bludgeon made of an enormous finger, sheathed in several heavy rings. Thought to have been cut from an ancestor of the Finger Creeper! Some life yet remains in this legacy uh, of an ancient act of blasphemy as evidenced by the barely perceptible warmth it still exudes. I just got a fake Amazon text from some bizarre number and it spelled Amazon with a zero instead of an O. It wants me to call their scam number. That's cool. Hello, Amazon? Yes, this is me, uh, Amazon. How are you doing? Um, good. What, did you charge? You charged my card? What was the purchase? Uh, let's see here. Industrial strength. Uh, motor hose. A motor hose? In order to cancel account, we need your digits. Wacky crazy numbers on the back of the card. Bank account, routing number, social security, social security. And you need to route 15,000 to the amount of order made for Nigerian prints. Oh, thank you, Amazon. I appreciate that. That's, that's really cool. Thanks for looking out for me. You're welcome, sir. Amazon always looking out for its customers. Oh, probably like a foot away from death. I'm just waiting for a, uh, Sight of Grace, so I can go upgrade the finger. That was a bad idea. Yeah, that was a pretty bad idea. They weren't even grouped together. They weren't near each other. And I'm like, let me get in there. I guess I hit a site of lost grace, whether or not I wanted to. Oh, you know what? I don't have the, I don't have the right. Too bad, but annoying. Hello, sir. Uh, we need your bank account routing number, please. Motor holes, beautiful motor holes, fifteen thousand. Account payable to Jeff Bezos. Yep. 
Here, if I wanted to be a smart ass about this, I would have just done this. What an altogether unpleasant enemy. No, this is fine. I mean, this this could be the thumbnail right here. Just me with a bunch of arrows, looking like a marble. I don't know if people would consider that a spoiler. People are, like, way too sensitive about spoilers. I get it. There are things I don't want spoiled, but, like, a piece of armor in a video game that's been out for almost a month now, three, you know, three weeks. Someone, I know I'm inventing a person. Again, I do this a lot. Like, I just invent someone to get mad at me. <laughs> but it usually ends up happening. Like, I'd say 90% of my invented people are real. Right this way. Right this way. Welcome, valued customer. Come, trade in our wandering emporium. Please, buy something. I'm hungry. I've been hungry so long. Please? Where will you buy the food, though? Oh, now you can by the uh, confessor stuff. That took a while to find. That's a starting class. So yeah, invented people uh, do end up existing mostly, I've, I've discovered. But what I will say is, yeah, if I showed just a screenshot of this outfit I wonder, I wonder if that would be a complaint from people. Johnny has been extra careful about spoilers. And I think story spoilers, boss spoilers, even location spoilers, to a degree I can kind of understand. Maybe like for the first week. But then I think like, obviously story spoilers in the thumbnail you want to be real careful about. These people are frenzied. I'm not talking about the real life people, I'm talking about in game. But maybe there's, maybe there's some crossover between the in-game frenzy and the real-life frenzy based on what I was just saying. But I, I do think that seeing armor in a video game would just... Personally, I would look at it and be like, wow, that's cool. Where where can I find that? I can't wait to get that. And even locations, I might be like, well, that's sick. How do I get there? I can't wait to get there. The assault on Volcano, on vo volcano Manor. The squalid, the sick, the blasphemous, a wretched, unending war with no glory. No honor. Now I can do the finger dance.
It is like a one-handed weapon. But I can wield it. Like a two-handed. Which I think is probably going to be much more satisfying. <laughs> okay. Well, I took you no matter to lay out your arms then. Far as I can get it. I like the stones. Bad time to test out a new weapon. I can't, I can't even hit with it. No. No. Oh god, my runes are down there. Also, I, again, do not believe this is the right time to test out said finger. What are you doing to my Mimic? Ah, oh, come on, man. My fucking tail's crazy.
mimic tier has become meat tier. Have I hit with one of these? Yep. No more healing. No more life. Oh, wow, I actually staggered it. Kind of unexpected. Yeah, hover!
well. <laughs> Uh, no, I didn't deliver the final hit there. No. No. Do I feel satisfied? Not. No, I want satisfaction. Can't get none. Part of the falling star, beast's jaw, hard and shining black, fashioned into a weapon with its sharp point. Its colossal weapon can skewer foes. Still good, good fight. <laughs> good fight. New special attack power, Vibration. Through and through. I guess this is the actual Volcano Manor entrance, like for real. I've been here, but, you know, not exactly, uh, not exactly in the most appropriate way. Warped here inside the stomach of some giant thing. yawning and shitting and farting. I still can't find the map. In a shocking plot twist, the map is still not here.
arrows again. Harder than any boss. Marionette archers. Thought this is a mountain of fire, but I hardly feel a thing. I'll... Oh, what? That's where the map is. Alright, I have to go down that way. Please let me use my finger in peace. Fight finger with finger, I guess. Use the finger. There it is. <laughs> yeah, you like it? You like it? You like your own fingers used against Jet? Took a long time to find that map. Lord Rykard, if this putrid field of death is what your blasphemy would bring, then I can no longer abide. No one can. Oh, I don't like that. What is that? It's in the box. Should be a level up. Yeah. Okay, now I can use the spell I like. And uh, I may even respec out of intelligence at some point. But for now, I'm content with that. Just puke? Alright, that's cool. No!
Ah. Not again. There's like worms in its mouth, too. Larval tier. Just talking about respecting. Oh fuck, is that an Erd tree? Is that the remains of an Erd tree? A minor Erd tree? It's burned up. Damn. Ulcerated tree spirit. Yeah, it's all fucked up. Because of course it is. How did I not take any damage from that? Beaten with a finger. From two fingers. Le Leiden, Leiden hard tier and Cerulean hidden tier. Leiden? I wonder if um, Riker did this on purpose. Because he was like, fuck the greater will. He is Radigan's son. I gotta remember what Radigan did. Did Radigan go against the greater will? In any case, this tree got fucked up. But maybe it was an act of defiance to try to show, like, yeah, we don't we don't want this. We want our own free will. So we burn your tree, and I drink your milkshake. Man, the finger is good. I just wish that special was a little bit better. It takes, like, too long to charge up. I mean, it, it looks awesome. It's cool to look at. Got the arm cheeseburger. So this is where this is. I know where this is now. Very interesting stuff. And again, good environmental storytelling. Really get... drawn into the world.
Now, I do have to get going. So this will pretty much be where I stop. But I'm going to head into the Volcano Manor and find a uh, Sight of Grace real quick. These locations are so cool. Just some giant fucking mansion slash manor on the top of a volcano. Assuming it wasn't always a volcano. This is also where that secret wall is, the one that you have to hit 50 times to open. Not exactly sure where it is, but it's it's here somewhere. Speckled heart here. Boosts resistance and heals status in mixed physic. Okay. And I got cerulean hidden tier. Eliminates all FP consumption in mixed physic. Okay, yeah, I see that that's been the meta lately in PvP from what I understand. It is you use that as a mage and you just spam your spells for 10 seconds. And then the other person dodges for 10 seconds without attacking and then the fight resumes and the person that used the thing win uh, loses. Receive visitors to the volcano manor without invitation. Look at my finger. Fascinating. And not unlike another guest we had long ago. So tarnished. Have you ever harbored doubts about the burden of grace and the dogmatic ramblings of the fingers? If you have, why not join the volcano manor and fight with us? Yeah, they, they don't Rise with us. give a single fuck and about the Earth Tree and the Greater Will. is unfortunate. Now, time for you to leave, I should think. Let this intersection of our paths be the last. What's this? Have you reckoned of rising with Now, to let this into... I don't know if I should join or not. But luckily, I don't have to think about that right now. God damn, I'm still loving this game so much. Thank you for watching another whole giant Elden Ring compilation video. Didn't quite reach 10 hours, but that's okay. We'll continue this and uh, maybe I'll even try to sneak in a live Elden Ring as well. I'm not sure. But until then... May the fingers guide your grace. <laughs> I
I guess. 